Hey guys, this is Jay Luis and here we are in Playa Tamarindo in front of which is Rock Surf Camp and today uh, we're going to talk about proper paddling and some really good tips about how to improve your paddling. Hi everyone, here we are uh, at Tolo Dorado, Tamarindo, in front of the Tamarindo Estuary. So today we wanna uh, learn how to, how to paddle. So this is the proper paddling. So here I am with uh, Sarita, she's gonna be my student today. So we wanna start right now. We wanna touch some like really good points that you should know. Uh, about paddling and about how to um, time, uh, how to breathe, how to total roll, how to turn your board. Uh, so we want to start right now uh, with body position. So body position uh, makes a big difference when you do it correctly. So basically what we do is uh, we hold the board from the middle line and then once we lay down on the board, we look for the center. All right, so once we lay on the board, so we wanna make sure the board is stable, so the board doesn't move from side to side. Uh, hands in the water just in case if you need a little bit more balance. Keeping your head up, uh, helps a lot, feet together, always looking where you're going. So that's basically what you need to know. Uh, paddling is uh, so important, uh, the technique. So if you want to uh, start moving, always make sure you start moving slowly. The hand cupping is so important. Easy uh, paddles and deep all the way back. Uh, about the hand cupping, you should keep your fingers closed. Uh, otherwise, if you do it like this, so a lot of water will escape from your uh, hands and you won't push hard enough, mostly you paddle for a wave. to find a right body position on the board. So it takes a while sometimes, depends on the surfboard. But also, uh, if you're too far back on the board, so you hurt yourself when you paddle, so and you won't generate enough speed by the time you paddle. So this is an example about if you're too far back, so the nose comes high up of the water, there's a lot of weight on the back, and you won't generate enough speed. Okay, vamos para adelante ahora. <laughs> so now the opposite, if you're too far forward on the board, the nose get in the water, and you won't be able to paddle because you can lose your balance a lot easier and it will slow you down a lot so when the water, uh, nose is punching the water. Now the perfect position is when the nose comes just a little bit up of the water. Perfecto. Ok, 
Okay, you can see the nose, it's about two inches above the water. So that should be enough. And right when you paddle, you can uh, tell the difference between being too far forward, too far back, or being on the right position on the board. Also, when you paddle, the back position and head is one of the most important things because back and head should be on neutral position. So that way you can uh, project more uh, speed. That way you can not uh, feel your back and neck, it's too tight. And also, um, by the time you put your arm in the water, metal el, el brazo. By the time you put your arm on the water, so that will be so much uh, power because you can go a little bit deeper because when you arch too much, mucho la espalda, so you cannot go deep enough. And also if you put your head down and uh, you go deeper, but so you can really see where you're going. Okay, first we're gonna show uh, how to do correctly. Okay, a vertical entry arm in the water, that's one of the uh, points that you should think about. So, splashing water uh, sometimes make it uh, not properly, but a lot of people do it this way. With the elbows down, splashing a lot of water, fingers uh, open, no hand cupping. And here we are with a run paddling technique. Take a little break if you have some sets ahead of you and once the set stop, so using your uh, pacing stroke, uh, start paddling back out. Remember you gotta find a channel before and then uh, once the set stop, you just go for it. Okay, how we get through the waves? Sometimes it's not necessary to do a total roll. So if there is some small waves or uh, some white waters ahead, ahead of you, all you need to do is generate some speed to approach the wave, grab the rails, move your weight to the back, lift the front of the board, and then move your body back forward and keep paddling. Okay, here we are with the example. Okay, so a uh, good total roll technique. So it's gonna be really helpful to get to the lineup. It's super important to generate some speed, put your board perpendicular to the wave, hold your breath, and when the wave's about six foot ahead of you, you have to be already uh, ro uh, rolling your board and stayed around five, four seconds under the water. And then once you feel the wave passes on top of your board, try to get back over using your feet and propelling your body on the board again. Okay, um, endurance, for endurance the most important thing is uh, breathing 
So if you breathe well and you do like passing strokes, remember this is not a sprint, so you can take your time and uh, that way it's gonna be easier to don't get tired. Once you uh, pass the waves and you get out to the lineup, so probably you will need a few minutes uh, of break. So catch your breath, uh, take a little breather, so whatever you want to call it, it's super important. So the, way, the right way to do it is uh, grab the rails uh, right from where you normally push up and slide your legs and sit very close to your hands. So sometimes the board starts shaking, that's pretty normal because this is, could be your first time uh, sitting on a surfboard, but all you need to do is just grab the rails and start moving your feet uh, outside and inside. So that will be really good. Also try to relax more, try not to think uh, too much about it. And by the time when you decide to go for a wave, it's super important to know that if you're sitting uh, right here, you probably won't be able to spin your board fast enough. And by the time uh, the wave uh, get too close to you, so you won't be ready. So the right way to do it, it's like this. So we sit a little further back, we push your body back a little bit, like that and if you want to turn this direction so you should still grab the board with the left hand and you should use the right hand to spin your board so you should look all the time at the way you're going also, if you want to go the other way, it's the same. So the only thing you need to do is switch hands. Perfecto. Uh, technique over uh, strength. I'm pretty sure uh, 100% technique so if you have big muscles it doesn't mean that you will catch more waves so the technique is the most important thing on this hey thank you for watching this video I hope you like it and hopefully you learn something also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find our merchandise and surfboards that you see on this video in our online store Pura Vida Thank you.